All right, let's get the motor set up. So if you click on motor and sensor setup, we can select which motors we want to use. In this case, we're going to use motor 1 as our left motor, motor 6 as our right motor, and set motor 6 as a reversed motor. Since they're facing each other, they're going to be turning in opposite directions. Call this one left motor for motor 1. Motor 6, we'll call it right motor, and apply. Now you'll see that we have left motor and right motor configured for our robot. Now I'm going to include something for the speed that will be a variable we can adjust as we go. So ahead of all of my functions and my main task code, I'm going to put it in INT for integer. I'm initializing the speed variable at the value of 50. So integer speed equals 50 will set up a value for the speed variable. We'll use that in place of the actual number as we write our code. Let's add code in for our uh, section here. So I'm going to take out move robot forward. We'll actually put the code in necessary for the robot to go forward. So we're going to set motor speed, left motor, and speed instead of an actual number. Then set motor speed, right motor, whoops, right motor, again, speed. We want them both positive values because we're going forward. And you'll notice that left motor and right motor don't fill in. If I go to compile program, they don't fill in the right color until I compile. And the left motor, right motor are identified as the, the names, the labels for motor 1 and motor 6. So now they show up as red rather than just black. Speed shows up as black, matching up with the variable. All right, so here is my set motor speed for forward. And if I want, I can just cut and paste this. For the second line, in this case we're going backwards, so I'm going to put a negative sign in front of the speed. So this way it'll be 50 positive when I'm pushing the joystick up, negative 50 for both motors when I'm pushing the joystick down. Here we've got control V to paste, turning right if I'm pushing the joystick all the way to the right. That's going to mean that the left motor should be going forward and the right motor should be going backward. That'll turn to the right. And then for turning left, we can have the left motor going backwards, the right motor going forwards. That'll turn to the left. One more set of code lines we need to set in here. Else, if the joysticks are not being pushed forward or back, then we want the speed, in this case, to actually be a number value. Instead of z speed, I'm going to put zero. Okay. Now, if you only have motors 1 and 6 plugged in for your robot, you can run this code and it should work just fine. If you have other things that are plugged in, other motors, you'll need to go to motor and sensor setup and declare those here, set them up. So if you've got motor 4 or 5 motors plugged in, you've got to give those things names, otherwise the code won't work. If you have everything set up just like the Clawbot, you can always just go to Standard Models, select the Clawbot as your configuration, and it will set all of these values up for you.